question is on hiatal hernia. You know what is hiatal hernia? Hiatal hernia is also known as stomach hernia. Now what is hernia? Hernia means a bulging of an organ or a tissue through an abnormal opening. Okay. As we discussed, hiatal hernia is also known as stomach hernia. See this picture. In this, this is the stomach, this is esophagus and this is hiatal hernia. That means a portion of a stomach herniates into the thorax through this uh, weak diaphragm muscles. So as you can see, this is a normal diaphragm. This is weak diaphragm muscles. Out of the weak diaphragm muscles, the portion of the stomach herniates into the thorax. Okay. So this is called hiatal hernia. Next discuss. Hiatal hernia is also known as esophageal or diaphragmatic hernia or a stomach hernia in which a portion of the stomach herniates through the diaphragm and into the thorax. Okay, as we discussed before. So, herniation results from the weakening of the muscles of the diaphragm and is aggravated by the factor that increases the abdominal pressure such as pregnancy, ascites, obesity, tumors and heavy lifting. Complications include ulceration, hmm, hemorrhage, regurgitation and aspiration of stomach contents, strangulation and incarceration of the stomach in the chest with the possible necrosis, peritonitis and mediastinitis. Okay. So next we will discuss its assessment. As you can see here, as we discussed hiatal hernia, uh, because of hiatal hernia, there will be a heart burn, burning sensation and regurgitation, you know regurgitation na, or vomiting. Regurgitation is when the undigested or the partially digested food comes back up through the esophagus into the mouth. Okay. And dysphagia. Dysphagia means difficulty in swallowing. Then feeling of fullness will be there. Patient may feel bloating hmm, or feeling of fullness be there. Then interventions. Medical and surgical management is similar to that of gastroesophageal reflex disease as we discussed before uh, in our previous lecture. Provide uh, small frequent meals to the patient and minimize the amount of liquids. Then next, advise the client not to recline, not um, 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 after uh, eating for one hour after eating. Okay. Avoid anticholinergics which delay the stomach emptying. So this is all about interventions. So today we have discussed what is hiatal hernia, what are its assessment and what are its interventions. Hope this whole video is clear to you all. Thank you.